Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. So Today we're going to take a walk around the Shore Track 7x16 steel high side utility landscape trailer. Again, this unit's 7 foot wide. It's actually going to measure about 83 inches inside and then 16 foot long. And that is a pretty true 16 foot measurement. I have some customers ask if it's an inch or two longer, and you will pick up a tiny bit. It's pretty much spot on about 16 foot length. The trailer's going to weigh in right around 2,000 pounds empty. It's going to give you a net legal payload of about 5,000 pounds. Everything you see here is standard equipment. Let's take a walk around the trailer, show you all those standard features. So up front, it's going to be a 2 and 5 16th inch coupler. It's going to have a setback jack, 2,000 pound rated. Notice it is a zinc coated jack instead of painted. It makes it a little bit more durable. You also see it's set back, so it's not in your standard placement. They do that for a few reasons. Uh, one of them would be if you have a traditional truck tailgate, uh, they get real close to hitting in a uh, it costs a lot less to set that jack back in the first place than it does to replace a, a truck door skin or a tailgate skin. So again, uh, jack is set back. Notice also with the setback jack is a triple tube tongue. So you got your traditional A-frame and then your third cross member uh, in the center. This gives some extra strength to the A-frame area. You'll notice it is a fully sealed wiring harness. And then also it's got integrated safety chain holder. There's also a built-in plug holder, which is nice. Instead of having it get down in the mud or whatnot, uh, there is an integrated holder. Notice it is a dual prong connection, not a single. If you get one of those bent, uh, certainly you got a backup there with two. A lot of them are just one. So again, integrated holder. Also notice at the bottom of the jack, there is a sand foot on it. Keep it from going down in the dirt and mud and whatnot. So a couple things on this steel high side. Uh, Steel high sides are built a number of different ways depending on the manufacturer. Some do uh, two foot sides, some do about a 14 inch. Uh, this one here would be the ladder, uh, but they put a box top rail that just gives it a neat appearance, also a little bit extra functionality. So you got the solid sides, then you've got the top rail built in. Now, a lot of little user friendly features from Shore Track. A couple things. Well, one, they cap the tube, they also miter your corner. So some high side trailers this one's one of the the nicer looking ones it's also functional but it's actually the sides are your structure some will actually build a traditional utility and then there will be a scabbed uh, flat stock uh, to the the uprights and whatnot so this is actually bent like a little dump trailer panel basically it's going to be an l shape or a, i should say a j shape uh, on it so it does have a traditional four inch channel tongue. It is a full wrap. So instead of stopping at the at the uh, outside edge of the trailer, it's gonna wrap all the way back to your spring hanger. Uh, and it is four inch channel. It's not a, uh, a form channel that you sometimes see. It's also got uh, fully silicone joints. So it helps keep rust out of the most critical areas on the trailer. It's also got a gusseted uh, fender, gives some extra support to the fender and then the fender itself is a double broke fender uh, something you'd normally see in a little bit heavier duty trailer uh, but they do them on these even on the utility trailers so it's not only diamond plate but it's also got two brakes on it so call that a double broke a little bit heavier duty so it's got brakes on both axles that is now standard equipment from short track and then it's also got the newer style ford self-adjusting brakes or some will call it fsa uh, much like a car, there's very limited maintenance required for this style. Uh, again, we said it's brakes on both axles. It's got a 205-75 R15 load range C. That's a six-ply radial tire. It's on a silver wagon wheel, 15-inch, 5-1-4.5 lug pattern. So you'll notice the green cap. This is a nitrogen-filled tire. If you're not familiar with nitrogen, uh, one thing that is nice about it uh, there's not the, the moisture inside nitrogen like there is traditional air-filled tire. It uh, helps keep it from, uh, from uh, dry rotting and whatnot from the inside out. Uh, it's also got the black cap on the end of the axle. That's an easy lube hub. Uh, behind that black cap, a lot of warm days you can pull it off with your fingers. You can do your own bearing maintenance. There's a grease dirt there that you can service your bearings. So this particular unit is blasted and powder coated. Gives it a nice, durable finish. It's one of the strong points of the Shore Track. Uh, a lot of utility manufacturers, uh, they'll have a high payload. Like this unit's a 5,000 pound payload, but generally you can't get 5,000 pounds up the gate without damaging it. 
Uh, a lot of times, historically, they were angle iron gates. Now we're using two by two tube in these. Two by two tube strong enough that generally, uh, not on a high duty cycle, but on an occasional use, kind of like I've used these before, you can get a 40, 50 uh, horsepower compact tractor up on occasion. Again, if you were a high duty cycle user, probably want to go to the heavy duty reinforced gate. But the two by two tube is a lot stronger than your angle. You also notice a couple neat features on this short track does. It's supported not only uh, on the outside, but also there's a tab in the center to help disperse the load uh, through more contact points. Also about a year ago, they went to a two by three tube rear bumper instead of the traditional formed or angle iron. It's got recessed lights. Also, it's spring assisted. It's in the uppermost position now. It's also a bottom position. If you were just going up and down, it would go in the bottom. Uh, uppermost position allows the gate to rise up and lay down inside the trailer. So if you were trailering empty or if you had something you could push a little farther forward, uh, you can lay the gate down inside, uh, create a little bit better aerodynamics. Pin system on these is very simple. It's very secure as well. Uh, as you would go down the road, it's going to basically take this pin down to the bottom which would secure it. It needs to go 180 degrees um, to allow that pin to open up. Uh, they call this the riser, very neat setup. It's got the structure of the rear corner post. Uh, it's also got two tabs instead of one, just makes it a little bit heavier duty. The ones that just come out with one pin generally over time, uh, especially on higher duty cycle users can break. And then this has a little bit heavier uh, pin on it. So let me try to show you the gate. Try to show you the gate going down. So again, not ideal to do with one hand, but you can. So one thing about this gate that I'll show you, it's very well balanced. So if you look, most manufacturers gates will not do that. So the springs are very well balanced on this unit. You can lower it down with just a couple of fingers. This is a traditional four foot gate. If you're gonna run zero turn mowers or similar up on a regular basis, might also consider a five foot gate for a little bit lower approach angle. A lot of times a four foot gate uh, with particularly zero turn mowers can sometimes catch and rub, particularly at the very top. You'll get them on, but it will rub somewhat. So there is a grab handle on the driver's side, just coming over here so I can lay it down without throwing it in. So again, not easy to do, but you can do it with one hand with holding a camera in the other hand. It is a lay flat gate for better aerodynamics. So this unit also has tie downs built into the inside. You'll notice in the front and then also center and rear, there's D rings. Those are full size rings, not your mini rings. And there's six of those. Also notice that there's conduit. So the wiring is a sealed harness, but it's also rain and conduit going back the driver's side. So this is available in different lengths, even though the 16 foot is the most common. It's also available in tandem axle 14 and 18 foot. Other colors are available. Black is what we generally stock, but you can get other uh, colors by special order. Uh, one of the most common options certainly be a spare tire. And then uh, we generally also keep toolboxes in stock as well. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring. 717-220-4220. Or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.